So my name is Bo Landry Wegener. I am an assistant professor of medicine within the division of hospital medicine here at Hopkins. I trained at the Oslo residency. I just finished this past year and I was a part of the medical education pathway. So when I was applying to residencies, the Oslo residency didn't have a medical education pathway yet, but it was something that I, I it was something I was interested in pursuing during residency. So I was really excited to hear that they were going to start one. And I, what drew me to the idea of being involved in a pathway was the ability to have specifically in terms of medical education, a really focused curricular experience with other people, both parts of my residency cohort as well as mentors who had a passion for medical education and would provide me with learning myself on what it meant to be a medical educator and all the different roles that medical education could take in the academic medicine world. The most meaningful part of the pathway ended up being the mentorship. Doctors Cheetah and Dr. O'Rourke, they were amazing. They are a wealth of knowledge and are incredibly humble and great teachers themselves, but also were more than willing to bring in a whole bunch of their friends and colleagues who are also medical educators. And we had this really rich discussion in the boot camp, which was this protected two week period in which we didn't have any other clinical obligations. And we just had lectures and conversations and discussions on medical education. And through that, we're able to meet a whole bunch of wonderful educators and develop some more meaningful mentorship relationships. So what the pathway offered to my residency was this awesome kind of capstone experience. So the medical education pathway started during my third year of residency. So throughout that year in which I was applying for jobs and thinking about what I wanted my career and these first steps of my career to look like, I had this awesome experience through the pathway with these mentors and these education leaders to really help guide me through that process. And it also allowed me to have a more meaningful experience on the wards as an educator, working with interns and medical students, and I think helped to transition me to my life as an attending. So I'm using the lessons that I learned as part of the medical education pathway every single day in my role as a academic hospitalist on teaching services, working with medical students, residents, interns. It taught me the foundations of feedback, mentorship, how to be a team leader, what it means to work with learners, how to create positive, meaningful learning environments. And then the things that I'm really interested in exploring is how I can also use the skills I learned in curriculum development in my career. And the, the, the most important thing I think that the pathway gave me was the ability to explore all the different facets of medical education, all the different roles that are available to medical educators, and really helped me to design a five-year plan, a 10-year plan of the goals that I wanna achieve and the steps that I need to start accomplishing along the way to achieve those. What the medical education pathway and the pathways in general can offer you is a really unique intense focused experience and something that you're passionate about in addition to the awesome medical clinical training that you get. It provides you with this great smaller cohort within a larger residency to explore these different interests. It also helps connect you with the all of the amazing faculty that we have here that share a similar interest if it's something like medical education. And so it allows you to reap the benefits of being at a large hospital while also having the benefits of being in a smaller cohort.